Long-term care businessman sentenced to 20 years for $1 billion healthcare fraud scheme and a $53 million grant to fund 40 pilots to improve direct Alzheimer's care. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, September 18th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Convicted Long-Term Care businessman Philip S. Forms was sentenced to 20 years in prison on Thursday for a record Medicare fraud scheme that he has ran through his network of nursing homes. The sentence was delivered by Judge Robert N. Scola Jr. on Thursday in U.S. Southern District Court of Florida. Prosecutors were seeking a sentence of at least 30 years in prison while his attorney called for leniency. The judge's sentencing for S. Forms also took his past philanthropic efforts into account. In April, a jury found him guilty on 20 charges of bribery, money laundering, and paying and receiving kickbacks in connection to the $1.3 billion scheme that occurred between 1998 and 2016. S-Forms bribed doctors to admit patients and then cycled them through his nursing and assisted living facilities where they often received medically unnecessary services or no care at all, according to the Department of Justice. A hearing will be held in November to determine final forfeiture and restitution amounts. Federal authorities have requested a forfeiture judgment of $38.7 million, the amount personally pocketed from the scheme. Prosecutors have requested that S-Forms pay $207 million in restitution to Medicare and Medicaid. Sisola questioned the prosecutor's high calculations and ultimately found the program's loss between $4.9 and $8.3 million. Research into Alzheimer's treatment entered a new phase last week. A $53.4 million grant will be used to help find ways to better care for people living with Alzheimer's and related dementias officials announced last Tuesday. The grant was awarded to Brown University and Hebrew Senior Life by the National Institute on Aging. The institutes will use the funding to develop a research incubator that will focus on evaluating interventions for the disease. It is formally called the NIA Embedded Pragmatic AD ADRD Clinical Trials Impact Collaboratory. The incubator's first objective will be to find and provide expert assistance for up to 40 pilot trials that will test non-drug care-based interventions for people living with dementia. Its second objective will be to develop the best practices for implementing and evaluating interventions for Alzheimer's and dementia care. Experts from more than 30 research institutions will be part of the research incubator. Vincent Moore, PhD, a long-term care expert and professor at Brown's School of Public Health, will co-lead the project. CNA TV. CNA TV. Memberships have changed over the years. This has been your long-term care news update. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. CNA TV. Don't miss out on any of the great programming on CNA TV. Subscribe today. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.